So this is a screen recording of my Android device. We are going to scan a phishing um, QR code inside a poster. So we're going to open up the Google app and then we're going to use Google Lens, which is the, uh, the camera icon there on the right. So there is my desk and there is our wonderful, very official looking uh, phishing poster with our QR code. Um, Google Lens realizes that that is a URL and is happy to take us to it. Now you could do phishing through, you know, Google form, through Sur Survey Monkey, through, you know, a, a regular old HTML form hosted somewhere. There's our very official looking logo and this is a survey on password complexity, except for, you know, it tells us, hey, this is a, this is a phishing form, don't enter anything, but we're going to pretend that we're not too bright. Uh, reusing passwords is a bad idea. Uh, false um, reusing passwords is, is totally cool and um, my passwords are just five characters long uh, never use encryption for anything um, remembering multiple passwords for multiple accounts is difficult indeed it is if you don't have a password manager uh, I or someone I know has had their social media accounts hacked true I'm not going to write anything down about details uh, I do not use a password manager why would I do such a thing and the email address, I'm just going to put in fished at gmail.com. We're going to uh, pretend that we totally read that uh, totally legit page. And I am over the age of 18. And our form is submitted. So now we're going to move over to the desktop and show what uh, that looks like on the back end. And here we are back on our desktop. There is our... Uh, our lovely phishing poster that we just scanned. Um, all of this is, uh, I suppose, official. It actually comes from Anissa themselves, apart from the uh, the blue text um, and the uh, the QR code that I inserted. But at a cursory glance, it looks, you know, o official enough. Um, and here is our our survey that we just filled in, and of course. The back end so really what we would be interested in from a from a phishing perspective is uh that email that we just entered so fished at gmail so we would then go say have i been pwned or you know our own uh offline database and see uh has this shown up in a breach do we have a password can we try a credential stuffing attack or anything like that and um, so i suppose the real million dollar question would be is a phishing attack via QR code like this going to be more or less successful than phishing via a, a link uh, in an email or something like that? So that's it.